Hi everyone, this is part of the Carignac Glyph and this actually maps out everything we've been showing on our channel and it goes exactly by the Bible. We have shown on our channel that most of the scholars on this world have been hiding all of the secrets of God from us and especially these things about Egypt. We have to remember from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. Jesus is set at the right hand of God, grace and mercy. Joseph was set at the right hand of Pharaoh and saved all the Jews and, and saved everybody through, the, through a great famine and everything. All of the same symbolism of Jesus Christ. This is a glyph right here showing man and basically the throne of the earth right here. Whoever sits right up here is in the temple of God and is controlling the earth. Jesus Christ says he will come in the clouds and he will sit on the throne of this world and he will judge the world. He will be way up on top. But this shows everything that's coming. The right hand right here shows this rock and it represents Jesus Christ. We've shown this before, we're just going to show it again quickly. See this right here? This is Jesus Christ's Ark of His Testament, right here. And do you see the rock? Now this ship is the great millstone, that Davy Jones character we keep saying that is in the way of all of us going to heaven. The cherub set out to the east of Eden with his flaming sword. See this ship? is going to be cast down, the great millstone that is cast down, Satan and his angels in that boat right there, crashing into the stone. And then Satan will be on this earth and he will have but a short time. Jesus leaves from the right hand and goes up to the top. That's what it shows. And here comes that pirate looking character that will be shown. See him rising right here? And that's when those domes go that I've been showing. And when the woman of the Bible is granted the wings of the great eagle. See the domes? And see the eagle right here, connected to this person? So the woman can escape from the face of this serpent. And then everybody goes way up to the top. This is where they even get the things from the Matrix movie, where the people sit inside of the ships and jack into the host body. The earth is the matrix. Over here it's replayed again. And you can see right here, see when the boat gets here, the great millstone that will crash that could look like a UFO, there will be a giant explosion. And then the people with Jesus Christ will get their oil and go right through there and into Jesus Christ's Ark of His Testament. That's why you have to have faith. I keep telling everybody, have faith when this giant cataclysmic explosions and earthquakes and all come we will end up with Jesus Christ going to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Jesus is right here. See Jesus right here? And just as when Moses had, to, had the serpent in his staff and it represented being able to cross the Red Sea, you see, right here you can see all of these red nations coming to invade and destroy the USA, even with our own secret government. And there's that ship for the oil for all of the wise virgins to leave. See it right there? Now over here you can see this boot and you can see a credit card representing when the time of the mark of the beast comes and they actually can't buy or sell unless they have the mark of the beast. Right here. See the credit card? And as I've shown, everybody in the New World Order that takes the mark of the beast will actually be worshipping at our feet, exactly as promised in the Bible, that God is going to set all of our enemies at our feet. And this is why I keep saying, even the New World Order has to happen. The Bible has to be fulfilled. They will end up worshipping at our feet, and they will be as batteries, powering all of your dreams and everything in heaven. See the red battery? Right there. The New World Order and all will be made to worship at our feet. See the foot right there? See the spirits have gone to holiday? And then Jesus Christ will tear all of this down. You have to have faith. I mean, Jesus is, is controlling all of this. If you read about the Exodus, Jesus even hardened Pharaoh's heart and made all of this happen to show his glory. 
Now down here you can see they have to lose their heads or take the mark of the beast with this rabbit, which means the trickster. If they go to the guillotines and lose their heads, this is a bottle of oil and they will be able to go through the disc and get to be with Jesus Christ right through there. And we are way up here, the head. We are the head and sitting on the throne of the world. Way down here is the feet. Down here with the dogs. That's what it's considered. See the dogs? Right here, the feet are considered the dogs on the earth. We have to get up to the head way up here because we have to get rid of this guy. This guy is sitting on the head and the left hand right now and he's going to crash into this rock and then he's going to be on the earth for a short time. So there we go, all perfect, everything going even by scripture. Don't forget Joseph was the right hand of Pharaoh. You have to remember all these things. They've been trying to trick us. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. All of this is going according to plan. This is the great millstone coming. It could be seen like a UFO or a meteor coming. And when it crashes, Satan and his angels will be on this earth as spirits. See them crashing into the rock. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.